incredible amount of noise and steam is the spring overflow. So all of the water that bubbles up into the spring is used either in the baths or gets drained through the overflow here and underneath my feet. So under my feet is the great drain. This is a huge drain built by the Romans. It's at some places taller than a man um, and it goes all the way out to the River Avon. The Romans could uh, work on this by walking down the drain. They could access it through manholes, which is very important because if the river flooded, you didn't want all the water coming back up into the bath complex. Um, and those manholes are still in place today. When you do come and visit Bath, take a walk down to Parade Gardens and you'll be able to see where the water flows out into the river. The water here is at 46 degrees, but once it's actually got out to the river, it's cooled a little bit. But even then, it's still hotter than the water in the river and the fish congregate there where the water flows out. See if you can spot them when you come to see us. One of the incredible things about this site is the uh, engineering and the plumbing. A lot of it has lasted for the 2,000 years that it's been in place, with the water still running through the site today um, using the pathways that were built by the Romans. One of the ways that they controlled the water uh, in the Great Bath, the level of the water, was by using sluice gates. There are two examples here behind me. The larger one was used to drain the water out of the Great Bath. You could raise and lower the level of the water. And this one was actually found in situ further down the drain here. Now, many other objects um, may have been washed away by the water as well. We have the objects that are thrown into the spring um, and we think that these were intentional gifts to the goddess. But there are also a number of gemstones that were discovered in this outflow here. Now, these could have been a gift to the goddess, perhaps um, a group of stones in a pouch thrown in by a, a jewellery maker, or they could have been set into the rings of bathers who bathed in the Great Bath. They were loosened by the water and they flowed out down the drain. It's probably more likely that they were originally a gift and they've amazingly managed to wash all the way from the spring further up the drain down to here as they were all found in a group together and it's unlikely that the gemstones would have all dropped off from the fingerings in one go and landed together.